For anybody now to file an action, this will get enough. Is, uh, no, he did not put me in the election uh, petition. This is for me to be also the part. Okay, I will deal with him. He will deal with me. What's my business? And that's what's happening. It's unfortunate in our country. Every time you don't do what you're supposed to do, you shift blame to other people. That is not acceptable. That is not uh, acceptable. You have seen APC, you have seen PDB. Well, which is the rainbow coalition? What will happen in this state in 20? I don't know whether they will start, they will not say. But what will happen in this state? Look at government election, it's not general uh, election. See, monkey. You think he will, he will allow you to carry resources to go to government house and then announce without scores? Shame. Shame. You should ask me to get them. What, what happened? Who will allow you in general uh, election? It's not going to be possible. So don't make that kind of uh, mistake. We never contested local government election. Did we contest? No. Did we pick form? No. I hear Atuka Abubaka said, oh, that they have rejected me in River State. Okay. I assume you don't know conceding. He has lost so many times. Nigerians have also rejected him. <laughs> if you say, for election, we did not contest. For election, we never participated. That shows Nigerians have rejected us. It's okay. You that contested and failed Woefully, Nigerians have done what rejected you. Therefore, pack and go home. Even Jonathan self collect. When that one was at Ozekoma's uh, 67th birthday dinner, and he was talking about those who used the word executive of a party to suspend the National Working, uh, National Working Committee, I mean, National Whatever Committee of the PDP, led by which is Secundus. Orchestrated by this weary wiki. Because in his own arranged then, it felt like if we can second use from River State, okay, remains the chairman of uh, PDP. And he wants to contest as a presidential candidate of a uh, presidential aspirant of a PDP. He's going to work against him. He went on. He was the one who also brought Uche second so as chairman. Then he went to Uche Secondus uh, Ward, executive, the chairman and all that of the uh, uh, PDP, to initiate the suspension of uh, the national chairman of PDP. Mm -hmm. So that he could go on and bring the Boko Haram founder, Alimodu Sherif, as well as the others that he finally dragged into it, including. So when he brought in these guys and he discovered that Iyochayu uh, is not from northern Nigeria but from the middle belt of Nigeria, Benue, he quickly moved again to remove Iyochayu. You know, he was the one spending money in the PDP then before Atifko. Unfortunately, they played him. Some of them are, they are rather be loyal to Atifko but they are very much in love with his money. The River State's money was sharing around then. So when Jonathan mentioned that, Wiki responded. The two clips here. I'm not looking at it from a legal perspective because I don't know anything about the law. 
But when I look at how nation works, I have never seen a system where a subunit can discipline the top. For, for PDP exactly, in the, of course, Baba knows, in the constitution of PDP, if you're a national officer, even your state cannot discipline you. Not to talk about a ward or officers that are not even members of NEC, the National Executive Council. And we are saying that a ward chairman of a party can suspend and expel a national chairman of a political party. I'm pleading with the Supreme Court to review that their judgment. Because that judgment has turned the cone upside down. And the political process, the democracy is wobbling. I don't want to go more, but let me just use this as an example. You people don't, look, I don't want to. I overheard some leaders in my Ozakome's book launch. So fortunate. I don't want to reply to things. I hear some leaders say, how can a war chairman remove a national chairman? No war chairman remove a national chairman. What the war did was to suspend you for the party. And in suspending you for the party, can you hold that position? Angama Madonna will lie. As he go pin them, he go sweet us. As he go sweet us, he go de pin them. You know, you see, people just, you just, you don't even understand the facts. Okay. You are a family chief. You have become the heirs of Harper. It's not correct. From heirs of Harper, they have appointed you as a chairman. <laughs> you know, he's got his own audience, and they have a way of kind of making him feel so intelligent. He's, he's a guy that uh, when he talks, he's pretty much like talking to himself. And they'll be like, yeah, that must make a lot of sense there. That's very, I'm, I am so intelligent too. I, man, uh, what I just said right now is, it's really, really like, intelligent, right? See, yeah, Oga, you are so, so intelligent. There is nobody like you, Oga. You are so, so intelligent. That was why how he deceived some of these guys today. He bought them the ticket, by the way, to make them House of Assembly members. But somehow, somehow, they miscalculated that they decamped to APC. Then they denied the campaign openly. They went to court, and a judge in Abuja said, no, they didn't decamp. And they have been given different judgment from Abuja, which uh, Fubara has not honored any of them. He didn't even look at the judgment paper. They said that uh, they are the they are still House of Assembly members. Fubara said no, they are not. They said that uh, the Fubara should submit the 2024 budget for their approval. Fubara said no, I won't. So now the guys are now saying that let the world bear us witness. After attending with a weak uh, show of uh, strength, Abby. So they went on to organize their own press conference after that. And I think that was today. That let the world bear us witness. Even though impeaching Fubara is the last resort, but Fubara has not paid us our salary. Fubara has not recognized us as assemblymen. Fubara is doing everything as a sole administrator in River State. Let the world bear us witness, so the Aoga, which is with the Wiki, eh, seems to have uh, again miscalculated, misfired, and here is the latest from Mama Wule, the Wede Wiki's loyal assemblymen who are now pretty much like uh, among the internally displaced politicians river state chapter uh, as of today river state is the only state without an appropriation law and the governor is reckless in what he's doing so it's important we also state that uh, 
they must not forget that the River Service Assembly has the mandate of the people and that we swore an oath of allegiance to the Constitution to do the needful, including the impeachment of the governor, as a last resort. So if it becomes a last resort in accordance with the law, we will not hesitate to do so because no individual is bigger than River State, including the governor. We assure the people of River State that we remain undeterred in our service to our fatherland and no number of threats, including those of violence against us, just like they attack the Speaker's residence, will make us abandon our constitutional mandate to make laws for the good governance of our dear state. Efforts to utilize misguided individuals and attack dogs to spew lies against the House or misinform the populace with the intention of bringing the House to disrepute has only succeeded in strengthening us. It has succeeded in strengthening our resolve to represent our people even better by focusing on our job. and ignoring their distractions. To this end, the positive difference in legislation oversight, to this end, the 10th Reversal Assembly will leave no stone or taunt in our resolve to make a positive difference in legislation, oversight functions, and effective representation. Several bills that are in the interest of the state have succeeded so far, and resolutions passed with the objective of making things better. As we push to meet or surpass the yearnings and aspirations of our constituents, we are focused on our vowed goal of legislative oversight for the betterment of the good people of River State. The peace, progress, and development of River State remains our watchword and remains so. The 10th River State House of Assembly therefore respectfully calls on Mr. President to ignore these hawks that have just landed and their failed attempt to disparage the very performing FCT minister and the River State House of Assembly. In due time, their true intentions will become clearer. Nigerians should remember this. We remain very prayerful and ever supportive of the renewed hope agenda of Mr. President's government. We toiled day and night while these hawks called us names as we canvassed for votes for Mr. President. From unit to unit, ward to ward, local government area to local government area. Today, we are happily joined Today, we have happily joined our progressive party with the intention of supporting Mr. President and further protecting the mandate that we all worked for. So no amount of blackmail would derail the resolve of this 10th Assembly to support Mr. President, his government, and especially the son of River State, the FCT minister, who is making us proud in Abuja. As I Very nice. I'm glad, you, I'm glad to see this. <laughs> Yes, sir. In the chief of staff's office. Well done. Very nice. I'm glad to. I'm glad to see this. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, your man did take a oh, your man did take a your man did we shall stand. Almighty Willy Wiki. With a stroke of pen, just a pen, they can hand him his letter. And I hope they will make a video of that. Yeah. They can even sign it on top a uh, piece of uh, kitchen towel. Mr. Willy Wiki. You are here by sack. <gasps> you know, it will cry to Bajabi Amole, the ship of Ah, please don't do this. Ah, people will this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's got no real political value anywhere, but it's got the affinity for violence. Something that uh, 
if Numbu probably loves. You get? It is what it is, by the way. They brought one retired, uh, supposed retired judge, Okocha, to the program yesterday. And that one was also spewing uh, garbage. Sorry, I have to share that with you, okay? I'll take it off soon, or watch. In where they are doing a luncheon for the weekend to make him feel so good about himself. What uh, Ter Magnus, my loyal and dedicated uh, colleague at the bar, had said, I see the senator from Abuja, Philip Aduda. My brother, welcome. You know, in one or two days, a lot of difference can happen in the landscape. I am an authentic legal luminary. Not a so-called legal luminary. I have been at the bar for 46 years. I was elevated to the rank of senior advocate of Nigeria in 1995. I became president of the Nigerian Bar Association in the year 2000. Longer, long after I had served as Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice of River State from 1990 to 1992. And then I served in the Federal Judicial Service Commission and the National Judicial Council. I've been chairman of the Council of Legal Education and chairman of the Body of Ventures. I was pained when somebody said so-called legal luminaries. No name was mentioned, but even before I knew it, Come and see social media. My learned friend, the senator, as I call him, Chief Frank Ohor, had to send me some clips where people were already rising in defense of the person they call so-called legal luminary. I remember vividly. I'm not here to sing my own praises because, you see, Equally, people have uh, a saying that uh, nobody should start singing his praises because they said, No, I Oh, yeah, we call it in Galaba. That when a, a, a shoot has germinated, it will grow into a tree and it will have branches. But you know, we are in a time when people will not listen and hear words of wisdom. Anybody who read the judgment of the Court of Appeal a few days ago, one telling statement, it is a joke taken too far for three persons to say that they are the legislature of the river states. A joke taken too far. Look at the legislators of River State, led by Honorable Martin Chike Amehule, Deputy Speaker Dumle Mao, my little friend, my brother Megabuye Jack. The whole It is smoky bo. It is taking the hand. I should have shown you that before all other clips about uh, when we came by the way, but I didn't want to leave it out uh, eventually, okay? Mm. So they were there making themselves feel good to start with. Last night, Tifnumbu returned back to Nigeria 
and Gajabi Amuli and others. They were there at the airport to welcome uh, Tipnumbu. It was him, it was uh, Gajabi Amuli that uh, made a statement that Tipnumbu has rested very well now. He has returned. You are going to see a new a new vigor or invigorated or reinvigorated uh, government in Nigeria. The heck. Well, um, uh, this new jet, actually, it looks fine. Oh, I've been on my own eyes, uh, you know. Let's take 150 billion uh, by. Uh, it looks kind of beautiful. No wonder. You know, we get this kind of private jet, this presidential jet. Maybe you don't want to fly everywhere. Now, now, where they wait for reform? She be the tell you say that they do reform, reform that will what, that uh, will last for fifteen years. Abi, they've already said the pace for that. The reform that will change Nigeria, yeah, 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 Abi. Here was what happened outside their airports when Kolu returned to Nigeria yesterday. Watch. It's a bit of uh, off audio from the start, okay? Let me manage them. It's going to go quiet now. But they watch the screen like that, okay? The kind of work he's been doing in the last um, year and a half um, requires uh, some rest. And he, he has, um, he's gone and he's back now. And um, he's well rested, rejuvenated. And again, it was even just a working holiday anyway. Uh, so he was working and resting at the same time. Now that he's back in Nigeria, all hands are back on deck and um, he's ready to go. Okay, so what do you think Nigerians should be expecting now that he's uh back and are ready to get back to work? Uh, just to, just to um, continue from where he left off in terms of putting policies in place and making sure things are done right, making sure we're, um, we're going the right direction. And he's the captain of the, uh, the, uh, the, captain of the plane and, and, and um, he's working to, to get to a cruising level, uh, which is exactly where we're going. And um, in a matter of time, Nigeria will begin to, um, uh, to see the fruits of um, his labor and our labor. And so, I mean, just um, let's be, we're all expect, expectant and hopeful and we believe in the renewed hope. And Mr. President is back in Nigeria to continue the good work he's doing. New Zans, Lili. You know something, right? I don't know if you have noticed when these guys were never uh, to speak or talk, right? They actually believe that they are doing the right thing. They are like, na me and you know they see him. Yeah. When you listen to them, eh, they actually believe they are doing the right thing for Nigeria. It's just that me and you, we just love to criticize. We don't see anything good. This reform, this reform of Tipnumbu is going to, Nigeria will soon see the difference. The same thing they told you for eight years of Bokuari. Eh? By the same people. Now they are telling you that, you know, the, this reform. What reform? Ah, you need to see all these policies. You need to see if you read all these statements. If you read, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the problem here is that uh, these guys actually believe that they are doing the right thing. And yes, things are going to be tough. Things have to be tough for people. Okay? 
or give it time. Yeah, give it some time. How long? No, listen, it takes time for things to get better, you know, very soon. And yeah, 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 yeah. They actually believe they are doing the right thing. That it's either people, who, people just want to criticize because they are impatient. They are not patient. And that's the problem. Maybe if you see that you are doing something not right and you are 